Come on, man. Hello, it is I, Hammer. I'm here to entertain you with a video called the No Joystick Challenge. Dun, dun, dun. So here's what's gonna happen. There's a few rules for this challenge. See this joystick here? I can't use it. So that means all I can use are projectile, basic attack, heavy attack, basic kick, and heavy kick. I can also use shadow move, like I can activate it, but I can't use the joystick to activate certain moves. So that's the challenge. I have to win without using the joystick. Naturally, the three characters that I had in mind for this challenge are Jack with his basic attack spam, Marcus with his heavy attack spam, and Clad with his heavy attack and ultra good moves in defense. This team is meant for this challenge. The best thing about this challenge is you can't be called a camper because you're not moving backwards. You're just standing still. It confuses the hell out of your opponents. What is he doing? Why is he doing this? You wouldn't just destroy them. Because you're a god at predictions and can do whatever you want when you're Dojo 13. I've had inklings of an idea to do this challenge for a while, but it really came together when me and Dom Toretto, as he is known in the Discord channels, um, came together to do some friendly fights. I tried this on him, and it was a lot of fun. I laughed my head off. It was a grand old time. So, thank you, Dom, for the fun times. And I dedicate this video to you, brother. Coming up here quick, we have the first landed heavy of Jack in this challenge. This was a huge TSM turning point. Uh, points if you know the reference to that. Right, I'm doing my very best to take out Tun Tun's fire guide right here and I get him down but I am not able to use an up attack from Jack to safely get away from that. So we end up trading. One of the most annoying things in this challenge is I'm not able to move towards my opponent if they're backing up and I'm also not able to duck projectiles. So that was another reason why I chose Jack and Ironclad is because they have resistance to uh, projectiles and Clad also has a really good heavy that actually moves him towards his enemy so it provides a very good uh, distance closing tool if I want to get towards my opponent. One of the only other options I have for moving towards the enemy is just like a basic kick, which looks really hard. I can just do a base kick out of nowhere just to try and get closer. And I'm pretty helpless here when it comes to these shadow moves because I can't even dodge. I'm sure opponents, if they knew how to take advantage of it more, Luckily, Tun Tun didn't seem to quite know what's up. I'm not sure if they knew, but yeah, that's the shadow energy is a hard time. I like can't dodge that air screw, even though I could have right there. Um, right there, I just have to stand still. There's nothing I can do. Same with like projectiles, like I said. So there are definitely ways to counter this. And it really helps that um, I'm not fighting other Dojo 13s. And I don't like how that uh, Marcus base attack doesn't hit that low kick or Jet's low attack. It's very, it's like his fastest move, and when other characters' fastest moves just like dodge it, it can be a bit frustrating. But I guess that's how it is. I get that base kick off, and I finish it off. With the heavy burn. All skill, baby. All skill. Here we have the first uh, Dojo 12 versus 13 fight. Um, this was the highest leveled player. Um, and this was a good match. I, 
it was actually pretty yeah i don't want to spoil it but it was a, it was a good one for sure <laughs> fighting against jet is really hard for this challenge because i'm forced to block a lot more and so many of my attacks aren't good enough, so i just kind of have to take it No, I can't get the grab that I wanted because I can't use the arrows, no! Not being able to grab is a super hard uh, thing for me because I do rely on grabs a lot for my gameplay. Um, I'm also thinking of doing a challenge, perhaps, only grab challenge. I'm only allowed to grab to damage. That could be fun. Let me know if that's something you'd want to see, and I can, I can make it happen. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> standing still is so fun, there's so many fun mind games you can play with it. And when your opponent gets beat by it, it's very, very silly. <laughs> I've done this before just in my regular games, especially against like Olympia and stuff. I'll just like stand still and just see what my opponent does. It's pretty effective actually. Because I feel like people are afraid, more afraid to dash grab in. Um, and it's easier to punish them if they do dash grab him. Uh, that was just my take. I'm very weak against dash grabs in my gameplay just because I shuffle so much. So that's extra inputs and lag that I have to worry about whenever someone tries to dash grab in. I have a little bit less time to react, whereas if I just stand still, big brain moves. You have all the time in the world. Let's just all take a moment to appreciate how Lynx has the only undodgeable shadow in the entire game. Uh, I do not think this should be a thing. At least make it so that... Yeah, I don't know why they did this. But it, it's very annoying when it combos into things. So. Like I know other characters like Marcus with his invincibility and Sarge and Yes. I guess clad when he combos into things. Um, but those are all, like, avoidable. Whereas the thing with Lynx, like, I can just be standing still. And, oh, all of a sudden, I am getting hit with the shadow move, even though I knew it was coming, you know? got jumpy here. I was already trying to do the counter attack before the E attack even finished. Well, we'll see. Marcus, I have faith in my Marcus that he will be able to handle this. Because Marcus is the best. Mandatory heavy at the start. And a very risky pillow, but it worked out. Grrr, like it. Gets me in the middle of my glitch. This is so bad. Ugh, I don't like it. Ooh. What am I gonna do against Link? Just to have my shadow form. <laughs> Block break. Let's go. I was probably finished. That was probably the game if I didn't get that block break there. Thank goodness for that. Thank goodness for block break in this 
challenge. Otherwise, I'd be a little bit more screwed. Let's go, Marcus. You can do it. Let's go. Yes. Good dodge. Oh, this is it. He's gonna get it. Ah, he got it first. No. No. No, he's too good. It's okay. I got this. Oh. <laughs> no. How unfair. There we go. This is it. Fool. No! Come on. No. So close. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Yes. Yes. No, how to get that? Oh, I'm lucky. Let's go. No. No, I was trying to move forwards. Good game. Good game. But it was close. It was super close. Gasp, but Hammer, you lost. That's right. I upload a video of a loss. Uh, handle it. So now we have CN Tate Imengard Jura. CN Tate. Envergadera. Sounds like a Harry Potter spell. This is my take. Let's see how he is. Can move my jack spam. Very good. There we go. Good hits, good fractures. Idiot. What kind of idiot does that? Oh my gosh, no, I'm sleeping in. I can't look for great reaction. <laughs> Oftentimes I'll forget to look, so I'll just like do one just to test it out. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and, then, and then I'll do projecti projectile, even though I know they already have great reaction. Hammer is a genius. Oh no, they've caught on to the strategy of unbeatable heavies. Here I come marching in. You can't beat me. I'm too good. Moving closer. I'm about to die. Oh, but I get the 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 fortress incredible whatever the perk name is. That it's called when you get the shield. That really saved me there. Alright, but if my jack got taken down. Let's see if my clad with his weapon will be able to take him out. The clad weapon does. Uh, makes you take less damage when you're unbreakable. Oh shoot. <laughs> Not much I can do there. That's, what the, that's the hard part about this job. Sometimes I just have to take those shadow moves. Got the read on the cancel. Do the big heavy. Alright, and it's 10 fractures, but I have wound bandaging and now 20 stubbornness charges, so I'm feeling not too bad. Watch, watch, watch this, watch this. Bam. Bam. He just he straight up surrenders. <laughs> I, I started laughing so hard when he did that. <laughs> the fact that I didn't use joystick and then he surrendered. Oh, it, was, it was too good. It was too good. <laughs> oh, this was so much fun. I loved this. I loved recording this video. Yeah, and here we have Tun Tun again. I've been getting 
got him a lot that day that I reported, so he did a couple matches with him. But it was nice because he was Dojo 11. Wasn't too bad. It's just a little bit bad. Hiya! Dojo 11s and somewhat bad people make you look like a god when you play. <laughs> that's, that's the key. <laughs> Secretly, I'm not actually very good. I just have a high dojo level. Shh, shh, don't tell anyone. And part of it too is the only reason I win is I just put out random moves and they somehow work. Like, I kind of have an idea of when my opponent's going to attack, so I'll just, I don't know, throw something out there and it'll work. This is my game plan. This has been tips on how to get good with hammer. Just do moves. <laughs> All right, so I brought out my lover ironclad, and we're gonna take out this fireclad together. Yes, I just said fireclad. <laughs> Don't make fun of me too hard. Oh, but that damage though is too too much. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Thank gosh for wound bandaging. Maybe. See if I even get this match. Oh, that heavy did a lot with the seven fractures. Thank goodness for Jack. No, I can't. I can't. I can't even dodge that one unless I do a Superman punch. But that's really hard to react to. Oh, here we go. Yeah, and I just have to stay there. Like I can't jump back or anything. So I just just have to stand there and hope he doesn't get me. Yes, the wound bandaging will. Coming clutch here. I'm coming for you, Ten Ten. Here's my reminder to subscribe. Thank you. This has been it. This, this that was my reminder. Uh, thank you for listening. Okay, I'm gonna let you watch the match for a few minutes without me talking because I don't feel like talking for five minutes straight. So stop being so needy. You don't want. It. It's okay. I'll be back. All skill, baby! For those of you saying I got lucky this match, I don't want to hear it. I didn't get lucky. This was all skill. Okay. Yeah. That was, that was me. That was all me. I didn't get lucky. Don't, no, no, stop it. No, I did good. And coming back for the fourth, fourth, fifth, and final match. Tun Tun, everybody's favorite. Let's go. Tun Tun, if you're watching this, you're a hero. You're my hero. <laughs> Lots of love to Tun Tun, whoever, whoever they are.
No, I can't do much to these for these shadow moves. I just have to take it. Oh, okay, here's something. Oh, explosion. Yeah. Rest in peace, Jack. You did a great job. But it's my lover's turn now. So make way. Mmm, so good. Ironclad, too good. We love Ironclad. Oh god. Destroyed. I challenge you all to try this challenge as well. It's, it's kind of cool trying to figure out how to beat your opponent with only like four or five moves. Oh, we can do anything, man. <laughs> Thank goodness for high pain thresholds. Ironclad or else I would have been dead for sure. <laughs> Another thing I could do is maybe every time I win a match, I could um, not use one of the buttons. Like maybe I win a match, uh oh, you can't use shadow move anymore, or oh I won the match, now I can't use uh the kick button. And then I have to win without you know using those buttons. That could be a fun one too. <laughs> you can you know you've been playing Shadow Fight Arena for a while when you need a challenge to make it interesting. <laughs> it's always interesting, but um I guess it can get a bit repetitive and ranked for sure. Um, I'm at. I enjoy this game the most when I'm fighting really skilled players or just goofing off, <laughs> doing whatever random stuff I want to do. Another thing too is I've gotten a little bit bored of Legion. It's pretty hard to get bored of Legion because Legion is awesome and the best, and no one can compare. But um. Uh, as you saw, if you watched my live stream, my first live stream, go check that out if you if you haven't already. Um, it's up on my channel, and I'm thinking of doing another one again soon. Um, but I was using Azuma, Yuka, and a Legion, either Kate or Clad. Um, I'm actually kind of enjoying Clad and Yuka, or sorry, uh... Azuma and Yuka. I have the um, the wound build for Yuka, and that's actually a lot of fun. Um, just trying to like play around with um, trying to get the most wounds that you can, and then using the tenth level perk of if you hit their block, the wound timer resets. I found that a pretty fun play style, actually. Even though it's Dynasty. I know, I know. One down, one more to go. Marcus is doing a pretty good job, I would say. Uh, let's see. Yes. Ambitious play. Good base kick into the heavy. Who knew if it would work? works out sometimes you just need to do random moves and then it works out <laughs> oh <laughs> not sure if Tun Tun thinks I'm camping or just like being toxic and messing with him I don't know <laughs> but There we go. I made it happen. We did it. So that has been the the no joystick challenge. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and try it out for yourself if you if you want. All right. See you around.